Anglers, we have a new voice. For the first time ever, there is a National Policy Director for Saltwater Recreational Fisheries. NOAA has created the position in the midst of huge protests. The commercial domination of federal fisheries is under siege as never before. No one knows just how much the new position will change things, but certainly there is real hope. Non-commercial fishermen have gotten the short end of the filet ever since the federal system was set up 34 years ago. Lobbyists for market forces and friendly congressmen devised the National Marine Fisheries Service with no thought for the recreational fishing world. Now, recent closures based on suspect science have sparked angry protests. Even groups of governors and lawmakers are calling for fresh looks at fish policies. The first new recreational policy director is Russell Dunn, himself a family angler with a pinfish catching three-year-old. Dunn will be based on Florida's west coast, but he emphasized to us that he will report directly to Washington to fisheries chief Eric Schwab. That may insulate Dunn to some extent from the regional nymphs office and consuls, which are under daily fire. We especially like Dunn's apparent attitude toward establishing the value of recreational fishing. He volunteered that there is a dearth of data about it that he plans to develop. That's music to our ears. Any careful look at economic values shows that recreational numbers far exceed those from selling the wildlife and yet commercials receive a disproportionate allocation. Dunn plans to form a large citizens group to explore the issues with recreational folks. He'll get an earful, that's for sure. The template for change is already in place, in the freshwaters and in the woods, where wildlife is shared equally by all, and where any sale is not allowed unless there is a surplus. Let's make our new voice loud and strong.